Hello everyone, and welcome back to Lemon's Adventures. And today is the part two of the morning routine. So we have all 10 or 11, I already forgot. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And all nine, <laughs> all nine of the um, animals here. So yeah, we're going to go through the night routine part two, around like the whole base of it, and yeah. Okay, so the first thing we normally do is we take, well, we first eat. So here is the lunch area so I'm going to set it up some people eat on the bed some people some people oh my god daffodil some people eat on here as like a mini table and then of course they all like hand wash the stuff that they eat on because we do some chores around the house and whatever so we pick up toys, we maybe wash some toys, and whatever, so, yeah, I'll get back to after everything's set up for lunch. I meant dinner, guys, I'm sorry. Okay, guys, so it is all set up. I just fed, um, Humphrey his milk, and then some people get one, and the older people get two, or sometimes one. See, Lily got two. Um, George got one. Coconut got one. Um, both of them got one. And then Spencer and Daffodil got some one. So yeah, sometimes we just talk, or sometimes all the babies talk or whatever it depends so yeah i'll catch well we'll we'll talk to you guys later or maybe during dinner while and then after dinner we're going to take baths which there's definitely going to be some animals talking back to me saying that um they hate baths or whatever so yeah it's time to put all the laundry food away excuse me spencer excuse me daffodil i need to put this in the washer there we go hey hey pages Peaches, peaches. Oh my god. I have to wait even longer for them. Man. They really want me to yell, Tabor! Peaches! Grab the, grab the pet trees because mom wants to. <clears throat> Because mom wants to wash them. Girl. Hey, you guys stop. What are you guys doing? Wait, wait, wait. What's going on? I was asking for the wash guy to keep it past me. Tabor. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Come on. Do you want me to put you in timeout? No. Well, I am. No, no. Um, that was weird. Really weird, right, pictures? Yeah, my face kind of hurts. Well, you're going to be okay. But still. Why did she do that? Oh, because of this washcloth. Well, I'm sorry. I'll help you. Hugs. 30 minutes later after the washer was done. And, yeah. Ring, 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 ring. Ding, 
kidding. Oh, that must be the washer. Woof, woof. Hmm, what's in the washer? Oh, the two rags. Mwah. Mommy, the washing machine is done. Thanks, Spencer. Good boy. I'm going to go play with toys now, with peaches. Okay. Tabor. Hey, don't you dare growl at me. I I didn't do anything. Well, come here. Yeah. What do you want? Ow. Ow. George, get up for a second. Okay, Mom. Okay. I want you, Taper, to say sorry to Coconut. No. Yeah. <gasps> Bad. Do you want to go into the bath first? No. Why are you so, why are you so grumpy lately? Because I had a bunch of friends. And then I have to go here and there's so many people. Well, how about you just stay in the corner for a while? Okay. So, anyways, I need to turn on their backs. And I need to put Indy, and I need to put Humphrey to sleep. So, yeah. I'm going to start the bath, and sometimes two people can go in there, and sometimes one. Then I have to re rewash the cloth again, or like dry it off, because then I'm going to use that for um drying them off. So they normally don't sit on the bed that much when I'm washing them. So yeah. Oh my god. Get up, Lana. Um, okay, so I got um George and Coconut, and the bath's ready. It's nice and warm, so they can get in. Come in. I normally just let them soak in for a bit, but I'm going to do the washing, like, off screen, just so it doesn't take up, like five minutes and all that so yeah i'll be back when mo mostly everyone's done except for maybe humphrey or something or mostly Tabor. when Tabor because Tabor's still going to be in the um in timeout when everyone well when blah I, Tabor's still going to be in timeout when everyone takes their bath and she's going to be the last one so yeah Okay, guys, so I just finished up Humphrey. Turns out he was the last one. I just didn't record Tabor because she kept on um, playing with Cam. Oh, my God. As I said, she kept on moving the camera around, and she was being super naughty. And that's why she went into the corner again. So, yeah. So what we normally do now is um I normally start putting them into bed. I maybe read them like this book. It's season of the Sam Forms Magic Treehouse book. We're near the end, so we're probably going to start with the one and only Ivan. By the way, that is not George. <laughs> George was just like, oh, ma mom, like, that's me, right? And I'm like, your name's not Ivan. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure there's a dude named George, though, who's like the janitor. So, I'm going to try and put them all to sleep, which is normally super hard because sometimes Lana and Lily fight, and sometimes, uh, well, now, Tabor and Coconut fight. Sometimes, like, daffodil fights with Spencer and all that. So, like, everyone 
go inside each other sometimes. But, look, some animals are very sweet and don't like, like attacking, like, um, like, um, Peaches and George. Sometimes Spencer doesn't yell at Daphne. Coconut. And I'd say, um, Lily and Lana fight daily now because of the bad, which I don't know why everyone fights about. But, like, sometimes I'll let everyone roam around until Humphrey's asleep. Or Humphrey might be the last one to sleep tonight just because, like, Tabor will tape on the island coconut. Because sometimes they sleep right next to each other and all that, so I don't know how that's going to work out. So, yeah, I will update you guys whenever, yeah. Okay, everyone, I have to go do something, so I'll be right back. You all better be asleep by the time I come back. And one of you guys have to wa watch him because, um, well, one of you guys don't have to fall asleep straight away. Lana or Louie, I mean, everyone, like Spencer, Peaches, George, Coconut, Ta Tabor, and Daffodil have to fall asleep. Humphrey, I can get asleep super easily, so we don't have to worry about him. But everyone else needs to go to sleep straight away. Okay? Okay. Okay. I, okay. I'm staying up all night for Humphrey. No, I am. No, I am. I am. No, I am. No, I am. Can you please stop? You are super annoying. Don't you dare talk back to me like that, George. This is why no one likes you, Lana. Because you're so rude. Oh, seem back at you. Why did he do that? No, 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 no. You do not hurt my little monkey cousin. She is my cousin and my and my new family member. So, she used to be my cousin way before you, and you do not do that to her. Come on, let's get you to bed. It's okay, it's okay. No, it isn't. Stop! on top of the bed lay you down i'll protect you arf arf no not now spencer please i'm trying to get him to sleep but it was my job no it was mine why does everyone keep on fighting Rawr. don't you dare Okay, I'm in your personal party gun. No, I, no cousin. I'm fine. Okay. I want to go to mommy. It's okay. It's okay, George. Just let's, why did I call you George? It's okay, Peaches. Come on, let's just put this. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm back. Wait, what's going on here? Why is Daffodil with Humphrey sleeping? Why are you two fighting? Why are you two doing this? Oh my god. Okay. I am done right now. For now. Okay, guys. Um. Well, okay, everyone. Mommy, I'm scared. Okay. I need to talk to everyone real quick. So yeah okay george so what happened between you and tabor well tabor was attacking coconut so 
since coconut's my cousin slash family member who she's with me, turns out I had to defend her because she kept on getting attacked, so I attacked her right back. Well, that's not very nice, but still, he, she was super rude to my cousin. Okay, but still. And she's kind of a cousin, but kind of not, okay? Well, still, she is related to me somehow because she's a monkey, I'm a gorilla. They're kind of the same thing because we're both wild animals and we're both, like, pretty cool and, they, and we both love super bananas. And, yeah, go talk to, like, no, go talk to Lana and Lily because they were fighting and then Daffodil made it up to... Made it up to Humphrey, which was all the way near the living room. Well, the living room is all connected and all that. But still. So you should better go talk to them. Because Humphrey was left alone. And you should give, like, a golden star or a treat to Daffodil because of that. Because she put her... Because she put him right next to the bed. And... He's probably asleep right now. So, yeah. Told on me! Well, I don't get stitches! Okay. Um, can I please have Lana, Lily, and Daffodil come over to, um, my room, please? Or well, the bathroom or whatever. Okay. I am very disappointed in you two. Because Daffodil was the one who was babysitting um, Humphrey in the first place. Well, you said one of us, and then Lily just started pointing out facts. No, but then you started attacking me because I said it first. Well, I do not care, and I'm not leaving. No, you are not. I'm giving... A congrats to Daffodil, and she's going to pick two or three sleeping buddies for the whole entire week to sleep on the bed, okay? What? Yeah, what? Why? Because. Yeah! Okay, so I'm going to talk to Tabor soon. Well, Tabor was the main problem because of Coconut and Coconut and George. Well, I heard George's side of the story. So, okay. Come on, let's all go. To okay. You guys need to sit up. Okay, guys. So, tonight, Daffodil is going to pick three sleeping buddies or two it depends on how they fit to sleep on the big bed for a whole entire week but she has to pick some new people okay because but not you two because you two you two have been very rude lately so i'm going to so she's going to pick anyone else and Tabor. you're not doing it because you attacked coconut two times so you're not going to get pet uh, pet so you're not going to get picked for three days. What? Yep. So let me quickly grab Humphrey real quick. Put him on the bed. He's all nice and sweet. Well, not on the bed, but like on the pillow. So you can pick three sleeping buddies. Okay? Okay. So, the first one is coconut. <gasps> Yay! Hmm. I'm laying down, and I'm laying down too, because then there's one more sleeping buddy. And then I'm going to make it up to someone, which I never should have fought, well, or been rude to. Spencer! <gasps> Woof! Okay, good night, you three. Good night, mommy. Good night. Okay. What about you? Where do you want to sleep, Peaches? 
Well, first of all, let me put all these toys in here. Okay, thanks, buddy. Yep, I want, I want to sleep near Pillow, near, near Humphrey, so I can protect him. Oh, that's nice. And then, how about you, George? Well, I want to protect my cousin. Don't you want to protect Humphrey and Peaches? Yeah. Okay. How about you sleep right there? Grr! You are sleeping right here, Missy. You are sleeping right here, Lana. And you are sleeping right here, Lily. Why is everyone giving me attitude today? So, yeah. Okay, everyone. So, this is the night routine of all nine of the um stuffed an not stuffed animals, but all of the animals. I'm not reading them this story tonight because they have been very bad lately. So, this was the morning routine of Spencer, the routine of Spencer, Daffodil, Coconut, Lana, Lily, Tabor. Um, you can't see, um, you can't see, um, George, but he's right here. See from his eyes, I'm going to put him back. Then, um, Humphrey and then um, Peaches. So, okay, everyone, have a good day. I might do another routine or just the normal day in your life which all the animals are going to be talking like this routine so yeah bye all, all llamas adventures see you later or like around seven o'clock peace